So today we're going to continue solving problems involving the conversion of units of measurement. So does anybody remember the name of the process by which we convert? Dimensional analysis? Yes, that's correct. Dimensional analysis is simply the process of converting. That is converting from one unit to another. Let's work out a problem. So after having read the question, it's important to determine what we want and what's given. In this specific example, we're given two weeks. Does anybody know what it is that we want? We want the total hours in two weeks? Yes, that's correct. So I'll go ahead and place two weeks here. And number of hours here. So since in this example we were given a total of two weeks to work with, we can go ahead and put that down as our first dimension. Now that we've done that, we need to feed into our memory bank and see what conversions we can use that will help us get to hours. For starters, we know that we're given weeks, which means that units of weeks need to cancel. So whatever conversion we use next must then also have units of weeks. Does anybody know a conversion that we can use that involves weeks? Weeks to days. Weeks to days. How many days are there in one week? There's seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. Note that I placed weeks on the bottom because I want units of weeks to cancel on the top. Are we done? Yeah. Well, not quite. So if we see here we have units of days remaining, but if we look over here and see what we want, we see that we want units of hours. So that must mean that we need another dimension. Let's use the fact that there are 24 hours in one day. And then here, as in, as in the case with weeks, here I place days in the denominator, so I can cancel units of days in the numerator. Are we done now? Yes. Yes. So here we're going to end up with final units of hours, and that's exactly what we wanted. So now all that's left to do is simplify. And since we're combining fractions that are separated by multiplication, here we don't need an LCD, so we can rewrite the following problem as follows. Okay, so here we have 2 times 7 times 24, which is 336. 1 times 1, that's 1, and we carry units of hours over. So we have 336 over 1 hours. But anything divided by 1 is just itself. So our final answer is then 336 hours. So now that we solved the problem, we've determined that in two weeks, there's a total of 336 hours. Does that make sense? I think so. All right. Awesome. So now I'm going to give you guys a practice problem of your own to work on. So I'm going to have you guys solve this via think pair share. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to think about this problem on your own and how you would solve it. After those two minutes have lapsed, then I'm going to have you guys pair up and then discuss your thought processes with one another. After those minutes have passed, then I'm going to call on you guys and then see what answer you guys can.
Try to use the same process as we used in the last problem to solve this one. So, all right. So, what was your guys' final answer? We got 17,520 hours. Okay. Yes. 17,520 hours sounds correct. It seems like you guys have gotten it, but as of now, we're out of time for lecture. But before I let you guys go, I want to go over a little acronym that will help you guys remember this stuff more easily. And it's called SOLIDS. Where S stands for see what's given. O stands for organize your information. L stands for line up your dimensions. C stands for cancel common units. And your final S stands for simple. So before we leave, if you guys would just repeat after me. So S for see what's given. See what's given. O for organize. Organize. L for line them up. Line them up. C for cancel. Cancel. And S for simple.